Hello, welcome back to my channel. I have a short little video to share with you today. I should have done this cooking with Terry video, um, but I just want to show you what I, in the middle of cooking. <laughs> so I, my sister has a rice cooker and she swears by it. And I want to say that Mariah has one too. And I would say one of these days I'll get one, but I just find that doing it on the stove works for me. It's the it's the ratio. So for Jim and I, this will be two meals, like leftovers for tomorrow, or like a you know leftovers for dinner tomorrow. But usually it's lunch. So I do. This is jasmine rice, by the way. Three cups of water to two cups of rice. Um, when you do that larger portion, I recommend stirring it, um, you know, halfway through or almost through the, so the rice doesn't stick, but it always comes out perfect. But a rice cooker definitely will come out perfect. Um, and using my new pans, I bought some chicken, um, cute. I cut that up. I just got the chicken tenders, uh, chicken breast tenders. And what I did is I just did a mismatch of everything. I didn't measure it. I just grabbed what I had rather than, you know, get a mix, uh, use up what I have in the cabinet. So what I use is a little bit of soy, uh, sorry, hoisin sauce. I use some of the low sodium soy sauce. I added some garlic, uh, powder, uh, some olive oil, and a little bit of pepper and I just cube that and let it kind of marinate like while I was preparing the vegetables and what I find is healthy and more sanitary um, and also helps with cooking your chicken the flavor just adds more flavor I cook my veggies first in my pan um, I cook the onion and the broccoli so while I was preparing the onion I was marinating that chicken. So this is all ready to go back in the pot. Once the chicken is almost done, we'll just add the veggies and stir that, get it all marinated together. Um, I picked up this, you probably saw it in my Walmart haul. There used to be this restaurant we used to go to, um, and if my cousin watches my videos, I'm not sure if she does, but it was Tong's Satay House, and they would serve this, um, peanut sauce in a little dish and I loved it so much. I don't think it was really tangy. This one I opened it up and it smells tangy but you can also use this as a cooking sauce um, but it is advertised as a dipping sauce so you can it says different ideas you could uh, mix it with noodles like pad, th pad thai noodles. You can use it as like you would a chili sauce and just put it over your dish or use this dipping sauce like you know just dipping your chicken if you skewer some chicken or beef or pork so I'm gonna try that and I'll give Jim a little taste like a little bowl full of it see what he thinks but um, that is dinner tonight um, the rice will be done in about five minutes um, like a good 20 minutes um, you just Bring it to the boil, the rice, and then once it's boiled, you turn it down to simmer and 20 minutes uh, and stir halfway in between. Let's check on this chicken and see how it's doing. Ooh. It is getting there. I'm gonna do a quick stir on it. Let's do that right now. I want to make sure the chicken's cooked really good, cooked all the way through. I left a little bit of onion in there from when I cooked the veggies. So, and what I did is I just put olive oil. I cooked my onion till it was translucent, like pretty much done. And then I added the, the broccoli. It was just frozen broccoli, but once I put the lid on it, it cooked up, you know, heated up really fast because basically it's cooked through, cooked, and then frozen, so it doesn't take that long to, to heat up. And then once you put it back in here with the meat, um, it'll eat. But I don't like my veggies overcooked. I like a little bit of a crunch to it, so 
That's a, I think that was the reason why I never liked vegetables growing up. Not till I got older and it's like, this is good, it's healthy and it's, it tastes good with the meat. I don't, they, my vegetables can touch my meat, you know? It's like, it's, it's okay. It's really good. So um, that is it. That's just my quick, you know, throw together meal. And stir fry is like one of my favorites. It's chicken, vegetables, and rice. Um, but I do like pad thai noodles too. That's so good. And I'm going to start buying that, you know, have it as, you know, like an option with our meal. Like, do you want rice? Do you want noodles or both? <laughs> That's it for this video. Thank you so much for watching. And please watch my Eclipse video. I'm sorry, I wanna apologize. I didn't get, I tried to do a live. I tried to like <laughs> uh, do another video after, but I think you got the full effect of it, of it just being like nighttime or sunset light outside at three in the afternoon. It was just really, uh, really, really awesome. So go check out that video, okay? Thanks, everyone. Have a good night. Bye.